Hey guys, let's move right into this eye tutorial. I went ahead and did my foundation and concealer, contour and stuff off camera because I wanted to make this video as short as possible. I don't want it to be hella long. The majority of my videos have been doing like adding in my foundation routine and stuff. So if you want to see that, you can go back or I will put my latest video that I did right up here and you can check that out. But today we're just going to jump right into the eyes and the lips and, and that's it. I got this pigment from Inglot yesterday. Let me show you. <coughs> Actually, I got a few things from Inglot yesterday. I know I did say I didn't like, I never used anything from Inglot before besides this number 77 liner. So I did went ahead and get, um, I think I got like two liners yesterday and two pigments from them. So this is the pigment right here. And I wanted to do my All Year's Night, New Year's, Eve or New Year's Day makeup tutorial. I wanted to get a video up for that. So today is Saturday, so I have today and tomorrow to get that video up for you guys. So that's why I'm trying to make it as short as possible. Um, this pigment is number 84 and it's very similar to the blue brown pigment, but it's not the blue brown pigment. Instead of the blue shift, it has a gold shift. So it's like a brown gold pigment. I thought it looked so unique. I never saw a shade like this before so i don't know if you guys can see it but i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it so you can see it in the back of the hand but this is the pigment that i want to use today so it's basically a gold brown pigment kind of like the blue brown so there's a brown shift and then there's the gold but it's looking more like green not a green gold but it's so fucking gorgeous had to use this for my New Year's Eve video. You know, we have to use a lot of glitter and stuff. So let's get into the video. So I already put my concealer or base down for the eyes. I used my um, Shape Tape Concealer. So we're gonna go ahead and try the spotlight look today. Something different than what I normally do. I know you guys are probably getting fed up of me doing the one thing. Transition color from the Jaclyn Hills palette as well. Second color, second row. Now we're going to go in with the first shade on the second row in our transition area as well. Into the Jaclyn Hill palette and get a darker color and go into the third row, third shadow. Third row, fourth shadow, sorry. And go ahead and keep that a little lower. in with the first shadow in the second row which is this one right here so just blend the edges out from those from that shadow that I just put down now I'm gonna go in with some shape tape concealer this is the lightest one I have which is in tan sand I'm just gonna cut just the center of the lid not how I normally cut it but just the center so let's pray this looks good because I never actually cut the center of my lid so let's go pray for me now back in with the Jaclyn Hills palette I'm gonna be taking the last second to the last row in the palette the last shadow in that row so this brown shadow right here That's it, that's the look. I'm kidding. <laughs> that is not the look. 
totally kidding guys am i not hilarious just going over with my transition colors just so the colors can show up a bit more now for the fun part which is the glitter so now we're going to go in with some of the Inglot's Dura line. Now I'm using it since I got it. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and pop some on the back of my hand. Take some of that Dura line. Pop it on here. back in with some more of that brown and just blend the edges out I'm gonna go ahead and do some wing liner off camera and okay lashes and wing liner on I'm thinking we should put some rhinestones on today let's do the lower lash line and then we'll decide Transition color under the lower lash line. I'm gonna go with that second shadow, which is that yellowish color. And then I'm gonna go with that dark brown on the outer part. Of my telescopic mascara on the lower lash line what is new I'll be taking the first shadow in the Jaclyn Hills palette and use it as my brow bone highlight don't worry I will blend that out Now the lips. I want to use a lipstick that I haven't used yet on my channel, which is another Anastasia liquid, not liquid, another Anastasia lipstick. It's called Resin. It's like a muted gray purple color. I want to see if we'll go with this look. That's it. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this very short video. This is my if you're bold New Year's Eve look. Like this is what I would wear if I go to New Year's Eve. If I had a party to go to, why not? Like the lip is so different. I'd never wore a gray lip before. It's one of Anastasia's lipsticks, so I love it. Um, I did went ahead and pop two rhinestones under the eyes just for a little bit of something different. Remember, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave your comments and feedback down below in the comment section. You know what to do. Um, everything used in today's video will be linked down in my description box down below. I know I've been sucking at updating that lately, but I will be getting getting back on point with that. Um, if you are not already, hit the subscribe button before you go. Why haven't you been subscribed yet? Do you want me to like give you a minute or something? <laughs> also hit that notification bell so you can be informed of when I upload future videos. Um, if you guys have any plans for the old year's night to go in some party or whatever it is, because I know I'm not going anywhere. Um, be safe and don't drink and drive. So until my next video, I will catch you guys later. Bye guys.